I have been promising that I would do for a while and that is my morning routine. So in the footage that you would have just seen, that is basically what I do every single morning and I will go into why I do do that in just a second. There is one thing that I did leave out of my morning footage and that was my exercise and that is because today is absolutely horrible so we're just gonna address the elephant in the room I guess how freaking cold is Sydney weather at the moment like seriously I cannot deal with it comment below if you like the cold weather or if you're like me and you prefer to be laying on the beach and dripping in sweat I would much rather be like boiling hot than freezing cold I don't know I just I just hate winter so basically what I do every morning really reflects how I spend the rest of my day um, I never used to do anything like this at all like the past probably like two years well since I've had Byron I've started to get up really really early and I get up early and exercise and I found that that started my day you know off on the right foot which was great like I'd get up early I'd smash out my exercise I'd feel so good for the rest of the day but that was my only purpose was to look good and that's basically it so like I said in my like my first ever video, so I kind of went into a little bit about how obsessive I did become with exercising and that is mainly the reason that I get up early is just to exercise because I was so worried about how I looked for some reason. I don't know why, like I had just had a baby and I shouldn't have been putting that much pressure on myself. I was barely sleeping. Um, Byron was still waking up heaps of times, but I don't know I just that's what my obsession was um, and it's only been recently that I've actually started waking up with purpose I guess for my day and wanting to have a purpose for my day I've kind of just got sick of like working through all the motions of every day to day life and not having a real drive or determination for why I was doing what I was doing I just wake up go to work come home cook dinner scroll through my phone watch a little bit of tv go to bed repeat and if it wasn't a work day get up maybe go to the gym if i had time spend the day with byron or be on my phone or i just didn't really i wasn't really doing anything productive like i would study on the days i need to study but it just i don't know i just i just felt like i wasn't going anywhere with my life um, but as you guys know I have started up my own business venture so I am currently an online woman's coach so I'm basically coaching women how to live a more maintainable happier and healthier life it is a 16 week program that I run and we do pair that with whole foods as well um, so it's basically about how to fuel the body from the inside and than the outside so it's not quick fixes it's nothing like that it's basically just helping women towards living a healthier life like I already said anyway getting off track but kind of still purposeful conversation that I'm having with you guys um, this is kind of what sparked my new morning routine besides just getting up early and going to the gym because that's just what I was used to. Um, so there's a book that was recommended to me and I actually had heard about it in a lot of podcasts before and I had been meaning to read it, but I never really got around to it until I started up my own business and this was a book that is one of the recommended reads within that business structure. So that book is called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. So I'll just show you. I have it on Audible because... I just find it easier so I'll pop that on when I'm driving um, or going for a walk in the morning just depending on what I do and I just find it much easier to listen to books and absorb the information if I am listening to them rather than when I'm reading them. I find when I read I get quite distracted and I don't know I just don't fully take in all the information so I find the Audible app is really good for books and I think it's like $16.99 a month and you get one free book a month so it's really good. And by the way, definitely not a paid promotion. I am not there yet. I just really enjoy the app. And it sounds really silly and 
I know not everyone believes in these types of things, but I really do truly believe that how you envision your life is how your life is going to be. So if you are telling yourself that you can't do something, that you're not good enough, or that you'll never have that in your life, you never will have that in your life. No one is just lucky. I mean, I'm sure there is people that are lucky. All these people that you see are, that are super successful all do their own little routines that have gotten them there. And most of them include envisioning what they want their life to be like, um, affirmations, meditation, and exercise, and journaling as well, and reading self-help and self-development books. So this routine I found has helped me like incredibly so they call it the miracle morning and i would like for you guys to go and listen to it or read it yourselves because i find it's more helpful than me just explaining why i do it i do really suggest to go and do that um so i've just found that this has really set me up for my day so basically what i do is i get up I'll meditate for five to 10 minutes. I'm still not the best at it. I still can't sit there for a very long time and it is um, guided meditation as, as you saw. I do just use an app called Headspace so you can just download it. It's free. There is a subscription one, I think, but I don't have that. I just, I just use the free version of it and I find it really good. And I find that it just really focuses me for the day and kind of clears out all the negative thoughts that I might have had the night before or if I don't really know how I'm feeling in the morning it kind of gives me a clear indication of what my underlying feelings are of that day and how I can then work around them. There is a kind of a negative underlying emotion there kind of work towards avoiding putting that out on other people because something I really struggle with is my patience and I do take it out on people close to me which is a very bad attribute but I have realized this and I actually am really working towards trying to be more patient and I, I'm finding that this is really working so the meditation is something that obviously so many people believe in and it's such a big spiritual thing um, and I really do believe that it works to help you align yourself with kind of the universe and your direction in life and where you want to be. Second thing that I do, as you would have seen, is reading my affirmations. So basically telling myself what I want in my life, why I want that in my life how I'm going to get that into my life and where once I get it into my life what it is going to mean for my life and um, finding that this telling yourself what you want why you want it how you're going to get it and that you will get it um, is basically manifesting what you want in your life so if you want your life to be great and successful you need to tell yourself that this is why you want that how you're going to get that and that you are going to get that. How you perceive your life and where your life is going is the direction that it's gonna go in. So if you have this negative thought always in the back of your head saying you can't do it, you won't be able to do it, you're never gonna have this, you're never gonna be able to do it, then like I said, you never will be able to do it. I've been doing affirmations every single morning and I've really found it's helped with my direction, with my work, with my family and everything like that. Do you wanna come join mommy? You say hi. Hi. So yeah, I found that it's really started to help with my family and just how I am with my with all aspects in my life. So yeah, I really I really strongly believe go research how to do affirmations. And the next thing that I do is visualization. So I have a vision board I will show you. It's set as my background on my phone because then I can look at it every single time I open my phone. Um, and it's also set up as the background on my laptop as well. So I always know what I'm working towards and why I'm working towards it. And I really find this exercise helps. And some of the most successful people in the whole entire world use visualization every single day. And that's how they got to where they are. Are you mimicking me? You <laughs> little goose. So basically I've just put, you know, holidays that I want to go on. Yeah. I'm going airplane. I know, see, even he, like my vision board as well um just the things that i really really want in my life and what i'm working towards now this might sound a bit repetitive but it's all these exercises together 
in combination that are going to get you where you want to go. This is my vision board. <laughs> So it may be a bit silly for some people, but these are the things that I'm working towards. It's got my travel plans on there, the fact that I want a Louis Vuitton bag really badly, as silly as that may seem, it's on there because that's what I want. I'm doing that play. Yeah, you will, Bubby. You just got to visualize it, don't you? Yeah. Um, a few other things I have is I do want to make an ebook eventually for everyone. So more of a lifestyle, like health, fitness, nutrition ebook that is catered to everyone. That won't be for a while, but that is something that I'm really working towards. And I'm going to combine that with my wellness coaching because I don't know if you guys do know, but I do study dietetics. So once I finish, I'd really like to do more with that as well to help as many people and reach as many people as I can. Um, another thing is obviously, you know, growing my YouTube channel is like my biggest dream. So I have the YouTube plaque on there because I believe that I will get to 100,000 subscribers. And my goal at the moment is to get that in a year and a half. So that is my goal that I'm striving towards and I feel Hi. that I can get there, um, especially with all your guys' help and support. Um, but even me just envisioning that, I know that I'll be able to do it. Other thing that um, was on there was journaling. So basically I do this straight after my meditation. As soon as I finish meditating, I know what is going on inside my body and how I'm feeling and all my underlying emotions. Um, so I find that journaling straight after that is quite effective because I get... I basically get out all the negative energy and I put it out onto paper and I find that really relieves me and calms me and centers me for the day. Yes. Oh, my eye, my stick, stick on eyelashes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I really find it centers me for the day and I really, really encourage that you do try it. Even if you just write what you're grateful for or just how you're feeling, writing it down just really kind of makes it real and it's easier to see why something is happening when it when it's more real when you're just thinking about it in your mind it kind of just slips to the back of your head and you forget about it and then you just have sometimes this underlying tone of being angry for you think no reason when really if you sat down in the morning and just let it all out and really thought about why you felt that way um, it would be more real and you'd be able to deal with it a lot better and I do find that that really helps for me and the other thing that I do is readings and um, I just read a couple of pages every single morning of a self-help book so at the moment i am reading you are about us and just reading a couple of pages a day and really I working all right let's go do a wee i really strongly believe on self-development and self-growth if you're not if you don't feel good about yourself and you don't have positive thoughts about yourself then how can you expect anyone else to and how can you expect to be useful to anyone else i know that sounds really really harsh but it's true um, and I've just found that through my own self-development and self-growth. Like, I don't know how I could be good to someone or useful to someone when I'm not even useful or good to myself. So really working on myself really helps me communicate um, with oh, other people. Mama. Thank you, uh, you good boy. He's just telling me he did a wee. But yeah, um, working on myself and loving myself allows me to give love to other people and allows me to help other people, yes? Good boy. And allows me to help people the way that I want to and how I should as well. Because as you guys know, I really want to help as many people as I can. So if I don't love myself, how am I meant to be able to do that? Like I can't, I wouldn't have enough energy to do that. So working on myself and learning how to develop myself to be the best version of myself allows me to be the best version of myself and share that with all of you and allows me to help other people to be the best versions of themselves as well. Uh, so the other thing that I didn't do this morning because of the rain is exercise. Exercise is basically like my drug. It is like, it's what allows me to release all my stress and all that tension that I have built up in my body. I don't do it to look good anymore. I literally do it to feel good. I, 
without exercise I'm not myself and it's not because I start to feel bad about myself I mean I have and I've and I've shared that recently on my Instagram I haven't felt amazing the whole time like I don't feel amazing every single day and sometimes I do have bad days sometimes I still have bad body image days but I really feel like exercise just allows me to realign and reset and refocus myself and really allows me to stay on track with my life and my health and you know just my happiness as well so even if you just do you know a minute of exercise every single morning get your heart rate up get your endorphins going you're going to feel so much better and you're going to wake up with energy and you know all these things may sound silly to you doing all these things you must be thinking in your head how the hell is that going to help me but it's basically helping you start your day with a purpose it's giving you things that you're doing that are working on yourself and working on your life so that you see and envision your life in the future giving you a purpose to work towards those things when you don't have anything to work towards you don't really have a purpose in your life or with what you're doing um another thing that you would have seen is every single morning i have my hot lemon water and i literally do that every single morning so that's not part of the miracle morning that's just what i like to do um, my body has been dehydrated the whole time i've been sleeping and i just find it really just wakes my body up and obviously helps to hydrate my body um, and another thing i do is take my morning capsules so I take those every single day at the same time. Probably the first thing I do when I wake up, like the first thing that I have when I wake up with my lemon water. And I just find that it really helps to boost my energy throughout the day. And the combination of all these things that I have been doing has really changed my life with how I feel, my purpose, my determination. And I know that one day that I am going to be where I want to be. So I really wanted to share this with you guys. If you have been feeling a little bit lost and you haven't really, and you don't really have a direction or you kind of know where you want to go, but you don't really know how to get there, I strongly encourage you to download this book or even just implement some of the things that I have spoken about today. Even if you don't want to go read the book, you can still implement some of these things. And I just, let me know how you guys go and if you feel like it does work and if it has changed your morning they do say that uh, to build a true habit takes 30 days and not to have a day off in between that so I really encourage you to do it for 30 days straight without a day off and let me know how you feel leave a comment in the comment box below um, give this video a like if you did like the video if you did find it useful um, and also just don't forget to subscribe um, and click the little notification bell at the top because that really that will let you know when I post videos which is at 5 p.m. every single Thursday now I am going to add the footage in for my healthy cookie recipe so please enjoy so this is my four ingredient healthy cookie recipe four ingredients that you need are some chickpeas so just tin chickpeas it doesn't have to be organic that's just what I prefer to use um, some peanut butter so any, any natural peanut butter would be fine as well and some 100% maple syrup. So make sure it is 100% and it's not like maple flavoured syrup because then it's going to have lots of refined sugar in it. And these cookies are vegan, refined sugar free, soy free, gluten free, pretty much everything free, dairy free. So they are suitable for everyone. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 160 degrees for a fan force oven. What I like to do is just put some baking paper lined on a tray. And obviously important thing, a mixing bowl. So what you're going to do is you're going to drain the chickpeas and then make sure you wash them all. So when you wash these, I'll actually show you, they come up with lots of bubbles on them. Um, so that's why they can make you quite gassy. So if you keep washing them until all those bubbles go, it'll actually take that effect away and then your body can digest them quite well. And this is talking from someone that has a very sensitive stomach that gets bloated very easily. I find when I do this, it, it eases the digestion a lot. See those little bubbles? So you just want to make sure that they're all gone. And what I do is I just pat them dry so that there's no moisture or anything on them. 
be just going to pop them and blend them up in a nutri in the Nutribullet or food processor, whatever you have. So you just want to blend that up in the Nutribullet and now it can. Now is when I will add the maple syrup because I find that just makes it easier to blend up as it does start to get a little bit stuck. So it's just one third of a cup of maple syrup. Okay, so this is when I then add it into the bowl. I'm just going to break this all up in there and just into tiny little chunks. And then just mix it all together. And then I just get it into little balls like this and just add it onto the tray. those in there for about five ten minutes and come and check on them and basically you just want them until it's golden brown so just keep checking on them um, and they are very easy to burn so I just continuously check on them because it's different cooking every time and I don't know why yum guys so that's the color that you want them um, they're still gooey inside as you can see that chocolate is nice and gooey yum I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye